All right, today I'm going to show you how to back up your PS5, your PlayStation 5 save game data to a USB stick in case something ever happens and you need to restore it. There is a PS5, a PS, PlayStation Cloud saved as well. But if you want to manually back up to a USB stick, so if you go get a different console or maybe you're going to a friend's house, or just for a peace of mind, in case something happens to your system, you have a backup of all your your saved data so you don't lose all your progress in your games. This is how we're going to do it. So this is going to go into the front USB port of your PlayStation 5. So I'm going to go put that, plug this in. And again, that's going into the front port of the PlayStation 5. Okay, we're going to go ahead and jump onto the uh, PlayStation. So to save your PlayStation 5 data, you need to go into your settings on your top right. And then normally uh, on the PlayStation 4, you would go into the, your save data and game app settings. But if you go into that and you go into save data PS5 and you go to the console storage and let it load, there is no option to save it to the USB stick. What we need to do is back, uh, go to the, the, the main system settings and you're going to go to system. Once in system, go to the right and you're going to go down to where it says backup and restore. Then you're going to hit back up your PlayStation 5. And then you're going to get this screen. This screen could take a couple of minutes to load. So we're just going to let this load. All right. Now we're going to get this screen. And you notice at the uh, top right, it says USB drive. It says exceeded. Take off the games and apps. And unless you want your screenshots, also screenshots of video clips also saved, go ahead and take those off. Basically, for the save game data, all you need is the settings, which you can't take off anyway, and the save data. We're going to go ahead and hit next. Just bypass that. And then hit backup. Your PlayStation will rest uh, be restarted to do the backup. And now it will, uh, but now that it's restarted, it will perform its backup. We'll just wait for this backup to, to be completed. This can also take a while. We are just about done make it, uh, with the backup. All right, now it says backup complete. Your PlayStation PS5 will restart. So we're going to hit OK. And your PlayStation will restart if, uh, and your backup will be finished. And here we go. The PlayStation is starting up. And there we go. We are back. Uh, that your save data is backed up. Now, if you wanted to restore your save data, you would basically do almost the same thing. Activate the controller because the PlayStation restarted. Go into your settings. Going to go down to system. 
Go to the right. Go down to back up and restore. And then you can uh, go down to restore your PS5. And it's got two of them because I did one earlier this morning. But you would pick whichever one you want to restore. And then restore that backup. So if we click that, we're going to get your PS5 will be restored with the backup data you selected. And all kinds of other warnings. Uh, it cannot restore data to an M2 SSD storage. So if you have an M2 SSD inserted in your PlayStation, it, uh, it, the data on that will not be deleted. It cannot restore to that M2 SSD. This only restores or backs up the internal hard drive of the PlayStation 5, not the expansion spot. And then you would just hit restore if you wanted to do your restore. Thank you for watching. I hope you found it, this video useful. If you did, make sure to give a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell for when I make more useful videos in the future. Thanks, for, thanks again.